So today's video is something which is could be connected with all kinds of two-way radio and audio. And what Mr Chippy has done is last year at one of the radio rallies we went to is he managed to buy this new old stock Amtron signal injector kit. Now I was going to build and we still are going to build one from scratch from a practical wireless design from the 1970s. I successfully built one before but would you believe it I ordered all the parts and then I'd forgotten to order a case for it. So we need to use one pretty quickly because we're working on an old Pi base station. There's no modulation and it would help us to pinpoint it rather quickly using a signal injector. So the idea is that we're going to inject a, a tone, probably one kilohertz, something like that. And although we've got audio generators, it's very convenient to have a battery operated handheld device that will produce a tone. And that's what this Amtron UK220 kit, which I'll just move the camera up like that, um, is for. Is there anything on the back, Mr. C? Just a uh, description. Right, I'll just see if we can zoom in on that. It does say the frequency is about 500 hertz with harmonics for doing NARA. Yeah. So he bought this at the rally, and no doubt it was a silly amount of money. And uh, so we're going to, I would say it's probably from about 1980. So we, we're going to be building this. Um, I don't want any hate mail for somebody who collects unbuilt kits, by the way. So, if you open that up on camera, there was probably a destruction leaflet. Mm -hmm. In colour. Do you get some solder with it as well? You do. Look at that. Wow. Might even have lead in it. Great, that's even better. <laughs> Warranty. <laughs> so the one we're going to build from the practical wireless design is two transistor. And so is this. Yeah. It's come out a bit. Can you just drop that down, Mr. C? There we go. Yeah, so what we're going to... You've got the printed circuit board there. Let's have a look at that, please. Yep. And then is that leaflet saying that there's an error in the... I uh, think so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. if you can't mend, you can't put it together. In the UK, the value and the characteristics of some components have been modified as follows. Okay. There's a list, so yeah, that's fine. fine. Circuit board in this bag. Let's open that up. Oh dear. <laughs> I built one once in a tube that some kind of uh, oh, stuff for dentures, that cleaner for dentures came in. There's a circuit board and everything. Yeah. I think they're doing the sticker so you know which brand it is. Yeah. Wow, a you'll enjoy putting that on. And is that a fiberglass printed circuit? It is, yeah. That's even better. Because when we do our, um, our other one, it's going to be here's a teaser, folks. It's going to be on 0.15 VeraBoard. And 0.15 VeraBoard went years ago. I remember as a 14 year old it was different to get different difficult to get and I was 14 in 1974. Right uh, so I'll we, we'll get some parts put together and then we'll put the camera back on. So Mr C has been putting the parts on the printed circuit board and he's come to some interesting conclusions with dodgy parts like the broken resistor all, all I've done with that is just fold, fold it over like I did that side and it just fell straight off. Well, that's not a problem because we can put a replacement to it. Um, of course, this is age. We know we're not going to moan to Amtron, are we, from uh, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, whatever it was. So uh, what else have we got? So both these 10 nanofarad capacitors are, are way out of spec. I mean, I'll, I'll put it on the meter. Right, we'll just uh, zoom out so you can see the meter. There we go. So these should be 10 nanofarad. 
and that one's six and a half. Let me just get that on the meter, Mr. C. I'll just. Uh... I'll, do, I'll do the other one, you can see that. Yeah. So this is his other 10 nanofarad, and that is 7.3. Right. Which isn't great. So hopefully we've got some better ones in stock unless, I don't know whether, I've mentioned this before, but we're having some building work done and a lot of things are being packed away. So we're a bit on a skeleton uh, thingy at the moment. I think they're in room 21 actually. Um, so we'll just look for those uh, in, in the storage boxes. So we'll get some capacitors onto that. What else have we discovered? Anything? Uh, one of the holes wasn't drilled. Now luckily we had this from doing the uh, heath just kit last bring time. Out the, uh, Yes, that Dremel type of tool from... Uh, so, can you just pick it up again? The yeah, camera wasn't there. So bring it down a bit. There you go. So we've got a, what, one millimetre drill bit in that, a 0.7 or something. What, it's just straight out of the kit? I didn't yeah, yeah, it. yeah, that's it's, fine. It's just the so. right size for us. So he's had to drill that hole out, so that was a bit of a quality control issue. But but it's the probe on. Yep. So we just need another resistor to replace that broken one, and I think that's capacity. And that's not a problem. Well, I'll tell you what, whilst we're recording... I'll get out the uh, resistors and uh, you can get one out of our uh, our RS stash. Excellent. Right, so we'll go um, take the camera off and we'll rejoin the camera in a bit. Right, so we've put the different components in. We've changed those two capacitors. And if I just move the camera, oh, that's the other side of the board. I'll just zoom in on that. So what you can see is we've got the blue resistor that we supplied because the one had snapped off. The two transistors have been tested and put in the right way round. The big capacitor to the left is the one supplied, which we've had to put to, on that angle so that it fits in the case tube. Uh, yeah, that's you turn that around. Now, what we're now going to do, I'll just zoom out a little bit. We're going to clean the board from flux. And what we have is isopropyl alcohol. And I'll just uh, do that so we can see it. It's a service oil one. So if you'd like to spray some of that on, Mr. C, and then we have the special brush that RS charge you about five ninety nine for but you could just use a cheap paintbrush and cut most of the bristles off. And this hopefully removes the flux. At the same time it's a little button cell is going to go in and we'll take the precaution of using a fiberglass brush on the printed circuit board pad and just clean up that bit of copper especially with this being 40 years old or whatever. I think the next thing to go in is the battery clip, isn't it? It is. Good. Go for it. Right, there we go. Oh, yeah. So we'll come back to the video when he's put a bit more of it together. Okay, so we've now uh, put the, the clip on for the battery. So if you just slide that over to the left slightly, Mr. C, and turn it around a bit so we can see that uh, spring clip. What because it's got to go against the metal of the case, we're going to get the fiberglass brush and clean the uh, what I'd call the wiper part of it, just to make sure. I think the next thing we need to do is to try and find a battery. It doesn't specify a particular battery to use, but in those days we're expecting you to use a mercury battery, and of course these days they've been outlawed. We're doing this in two thousand and twenty. So we've got some LR44 batteries here, so if you take one off the card and see whether that fits. And then we'll see if any smoke comes out of it. So I assume the case is negative. Are you, no, I don't think it is. It doesn't fit. No, I think the case is just, it does, it is polarised on the case, it tells you. Mm. Okay. So let me just check. Just check it with a meter because the case looks like it's 
the case is positive on the battery. Well, looking at the circuit diagram, yeah. the negative goes to the two emitters of them, them those uh, transistors. Which is that wire there? So this is negative. Yeah. So, so it needs to be such that the just check the battery with your meter, please, just to make sure that. Yeah. I, mean, I know. I know the case is positive, but I just. I, we just want to prove it. We don't often do much with little batteries, believe it or not. Those of you who are doing watches day in and day out will think, what a pair of wallies. Yeah, yeah that's fine. So if you can, can you slide that in? No, it's too big. Oh, right. It is too big. So right, so I need to find a different type of battery. Right, we'll pause the video. Okay, so we've got a pack of batteries which came from our local one pound shop. When I say local, that's seven and a half miles away. And we think the LR10 is the one that's going to fit. So he's just going to punch one of those out of the pack. And we'll test it with the meter. And that will tell us whether we bought it last year or 20 years ago. Oh, ah. I'll tell you what. Cut it out. <laughs> yes, because you know yourself, the, the easy way to do it is to rip the card off the plastic. And then they'll all go flying. and Which is probably what the, the vendor wants you to do. <laughs> So we'll check that with the meter. Yep. That worked good. Now see if we can get that one to fit. <laughs> <laughs> Drop that on the floor. We've picked it up and then he's decided it's too small. So now we're going for the AG12. So third time lucky. This one's a bit thicker. Test it on the meter. Try not to drop it. That's working, 1.27. Fine. So Just to the left a bit, uh, please, Mr. C. That's it. And, uh, a bit of work. Is that one going to fit in? Uh, kind of. Good. <laughs> well, there's nothing in between the two, is there? No. no. I'll just check that isn't shorted. So that's fine. Good. So see if we can slide that in the case. Is that the next bit? Uh, or is there something else to do? Have we got some plastic ferrules to put in or something? Put the bushing on. No, because um, we need to put the uh, the wires onto the switch. Okay, well we'll, we'll so uh, pause the video again. Putting the case together on this, what we've found, putting the two plastic ferrules in the end, is that it doesn't fit. So he's had to get his rotary tool out into that um, little... Aldi pretend Dremel type tool and he's grinding a bit away so this will be a nice noise Yeah. After that noise, I'll pause the video and hopefully we'll have it together shortly. Right, so that's the finished product. He's even put the sticker on it, which I will just zoom in on, which probably says, I'm Tron. Okay. Uh, I'm oh, what is it? Oh, I'm Tron Craft. I'm Tron Craft, wow. I'm now we've got a test amplifier here, so it's a little. We probably did a video on making that. So switch it on just to prove this works. So. We had to provide the black wire, they didn't have that in the kit. There we go. So that's exactly what we want as a little test oscillator. That's it. So that's it. So that's the Amtron UK220 signal injector, and we've thrown all the packaging in the bin. For all those of you who want to write in and moan. So thanks for watching. Bye.